there's been this trend kind of going around recently where you put powder down. There's a few different ways that people have been doing it, but basically you apply powder to your face before you apply your foundation. I was very intrigued by this simply because I saw Jordan Liberty do it. And he's a genius. Apparently Jackie Aina has been talking about this for a very long time. I, for those of you who don't know, am not a makeup artist. I am self-taught. My background is in art. So as far as like application, I didn't go to beauty school, man. I didn't, nobody taught me this shit. So I'm kind of just like figuring it out. So I was like, this is interesting. I'm always down for different kinds of uh, techniques. And um, I think I watched Robert Welsh, who I'm obsessed with right now. If you don't know his channel, he's blowing up and he's fucking amazing. He's, the he's a professional makeup artist. He knows his shit. So I watched him talk about it and he said, yes, he approved. So I was like, cool. So I have been playing around with it a little bit. There are a few different ways that people have been doing it. They apply moisturizer, set it with powder, primer, then foundation. It seems like kind of a lot to me. So I don't really know. I think what I'm gonna do today, cause I've kind of like gone between that, which I don't really like applying the primer over the powder. I've been kind of doing like moisturizer, powder foundation. But today I'm going to be doing moisturizer, powder, sunscreen foundation. And I'm gonna be talking to you about a very important sunscreen that I just started using. None of this shit's sponsored by the way. <laughs> anyway, rambling. So yeah, let's moisturize first. So I think I'm gonna go in just because I love a nice moisturized base. I'm going to apply the Glossier Priming Rich Moisturizer, which you guys have seen a bunch of times. I just love how hydrating this is. So I'm gonna take about I don't know, that much. Smooth it on all over. I should really just pat. I've been trying to do that more. It's so much better for your face. So I like to hydrate particularly underneath my eyes because I have to put so much product down there. This is a very, very rich moisturizer. So if you are oily, you might want to avoid it. But what I like about this is I can like super hydrate my skin. And then when I go in with the powder, it kind of like, not mattifies, but it kind of like satinifies satinifies uh, the finish and it just kind of like holds onto that foundation so much longer without having to go in with powder later on, uh, which ends up just being, I don't know, feeling very cakey to me. I feel like you end up layering lighter amounts of products with this technique. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Anyway, so now that I have my uh, moisturizer down and I did moisturize my face when I got out of the shower, which was probably like a little over an hour ago now. So, um, and I use kind of like a basic matte, this is really bothering me, basic matte-ish moisturizer, nothing like super heavy. So now the powder that I'm going to be using is the Pat McGrath powder. This shade is actually a little bit dark for me, but the undertone is really nice. This is light medium two. So I'm going to be applying this to my whole damn face. I need to get the light one actually, the light powder, because I really, the finish of this powder is whew, so beautiful, but this shade has been too dark, but it's been uh, perfect for this technique. So I'm going to be using the Morphe G4 brush, which is just this like big synthetic angled brush. Basically, I'm gonna tap into the cap, which is where I put it, tap off some product, cause I really don't wanna go in with like too much. Just kind of start setting my face. It's literally it. You could use a blendiful, you could use a, I mean, I have seen a lot of people applying so much of the powder, which I think is very unnecessary. I don't think you need to go in with that much. But basically until my skin looks just matte-ish, not super matte, like you don't want a ton of it. It does feel weird putting powder down before anything else. My face looks like such a mess today. So kind of each time I'm tapping into the cap, tapping it off and then lightly pressing it into my skin and then making sure to kind of take it like all over my face so that it's, it's nice and even. And it's a lot easier to see where I'm applying, apply <laughs> where I'm applying too much or enough powder because this is slightly dark for my face. I don't know how well you guys can see right now, but like I said, the undertone is really nice, but in terms of value, it's just too dark. Um, and I am going to be taking this like over my brows, a little bit over my lids, pretty much just everywhere. Um, so when I was watching Robert's video, he was saying that like the reason for this is you are creating like a barrier between your skin and the foundation. And you're basically like creating a layer for the foundation to adhere to. But because you're doing it before your foundation, it's kind of like, oh, this is gonna sound so gross, but when you put the liquid on top of this, it's creating a little bit of a th slightly thicker formula. 
I don't want to like say paste, but that's what I want to say. Rather than putting a liquid on top of a liquid, the foundation is going to stick better. And then because you're put, using a powder, it's already kind of like mattifying or satinifying the finish. So it's not going to move. And then you end up not having to use powder later on, maybe in like really oily spots, depending on like, I don't know what concealer you use or anything like that. But that's why I was so intrigued by this because less product is more for me. Now for me, what's very important is sunscreen living in Los Angeles, even though the sun hasn't really been out. I was using the Glossier one forever. I feel kind of bad recommending it to people for so long because I recently went and got a facial and she was like, basically the difference. I don't know that much about skincare. Okay, I'm trying to learn. The difference between whatever kind of sunscreen the Glossier one was and the one that I'm going to share with you, which is Tizo or Tizo, I can't remember, is that this is a mineral sunscreen, which means that it is basically like reflecting the sun off your face. So it's basically sitting on top of the skin. And uh, while the Glossier and or other sunscreens are absorbed by the skin, which means you have to reapply, like they basically don't end up protecting your skin very well. That's what she said to me. Anyway, so I started using this one and I really like it. It's kind of like a pore filling primer formula. They do have a tinted one. That's what this is, but they also have some that aren't tinted. So I'm going to take, I don't know, a fair amount. And then I'm basically just going to pat this all over my face. So you could do this with a primer because I saw a lot of people doing this step with like uh, the Tatcha primer, the pore filling primer, but I don't like that one. And since this is a really nice like pore filling formula, kind of like that silicone-y feel. I think it's gonna work really well for this technique. But if you feel like this is just another like annoying step, you could apply moisturizer, sunscreen, then the powder, and then go in with your foundation. It really depends on your skin type, I think. Like more oily skin would probably work better with that. I think something to keep in mind is you can't all do it exactly the same way. It has so much to do with your environment, how much moisture there is in the air, how humid, how humid your uh, environment is, your skin type, whether it's oily, whether it's dry, whether your foundation is more matte or more dewy, whether your primer is like silicone or more hydrating. It's like so many things to keep in mind. I would suggest just like playing around with all of these different techniques. If it's something that you're interested in, I do recommend it, but I have had to play around with it for a little while to get to the point where it's something that I actually like. Okay, so now you can kind of see that my skin has like a very, I guess a matte finish. I don't think it's like super duper matte. So now I'm just gonna go on and do my makeup like I usually would. So I'm going to color correct underneath my eyes with the LA Girl Concealer in Light Ivory. I am a little bit worried about these like little dry patches right now, but you know, the show must go on. So what I like about this is a lot of the time when I would put down some kind of a liquid primer, the corrector, I had to be very careful about how I applied it because I didn't want it to move around too much. But now that I have the powder down first, it just stays right in place, which is fantastic. So I feel like it prevents you from having to use a lot of product. It allows you to be a little bit more precise with the application and how much you use, which is really nice. But I just really like how smooth that looks. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my um, my concealer. I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath concealer in L3. I've been using concealer before foundation recently just because I don't wanna go in with like too much product. So I kind of like place it in the areas where I want it and then I'll blend in with the uh, foundation. So I'm just using my LC Cosmetics Velvet Sponge to blend that out. Doesn't it look so smooth? So I tend to focus my concealer like in the center of my face anyway, so that's kind of why I'm doing this. It's like replaced foundation in the center of my face. Cause like I feel like it basically goes all over my nose anyway. <laughs> so what the hell? All right, and then let's just stick with the uh, Pat McGrath theme. So I'm gonna be using uh, the Skin Fetish Foundation in light three. And then I'm going to take this in the outer perimeter of my face and just kind of like blend in that highlight. Oh, I applied way too much of my foundation. All right, I just threw down some brows really quickly and now I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with my Vanity Makeup Cosmetics Sculpt and Glow palette. I'm gonna be using Fair and the contour shade. Another really nice thing about this technique is that it works equally well with uh, creams and powders. So I'm applying all of my cream products now, but I am gonna be going in with a powder blush. And since we already put our face powder down, I don't feel like the need to set my face before I go in with all of those things. And for bronzer, I'm using my KKW Beauty Contour Stick in medium. Right now for my under eyes, 
I am going to be setting that tiny little area, but I'm going to be using the smallest amount of powder. Basically, if you tend to be more oily, you can use powder in like your T-zone, underneath your eyes, whatever. But what's nice about this technique is that you don't need to use powder around the rest of your face. So I'm going to be using my LC Cosmetics Light Medium Setting Powder. And I always layer my concealer. So I'm gonna take a teeny bit more of the Pat McGrath concealer and put it right here just because I like that extra coverage. And then I'm really, really tapping off my brush. So that might look like a lot, but it's not because my uh, brush is just dirty. And then using that small amount of powder, I'm just going to pat it basically right here, right where I need it. I'm not gonna take it out too far. Now for blush, I'm gonna use this uh, new one from Ciate. Well, it's new to me anyway. This is Breeze Marbled Light, the Marbled Light blush, but uh, I'm excited about this. So I'm going to use my little Japanese brush to apply that. All right, guys, you get the idea. Do you see how nice and smooth everything looks? And there's like, it sounds weird, but there's like a little bit of stick when you apply everything. So rather than your brushes kind of like, or your sponges, I don't know, slipping around, it keeps the product exactly where you place it. And then, I don't know, it just like kind of blends really beautifully. And there's something really nice and luminous about it, not having to go in with a powder at the end, because I feel like a lot of the time that just kind of ends up like mattifying the skin. It's so much faster. I also end up using a lot less of each product. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish off my makeup and then I'm gonna come back, check in with you throughout the day. Cause I don't know about you, but I got nothing else going on. All right, guys, this is the finished uh, result. I, uh, I don't know how I feel about this eyeshadow look, by the way, I was filming something for another video and, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, but uh, it's fine. What was I gonna say? So basically, this is what my skin looks like. What do you think? This is what I love about this process. And I was thinking about this when I was like out making um, apple with peanut butter. Uh, the, I think I already said this, but the texture looks so much better. I love that I'm not using a setting spray. I love that I'm not applying my powder after foundation because a lot of the time it's kind of like, I don't know, I feel like I end up manipulating the formula a lot. Lately, I've kind of had a problem with uh, putting down, like I wanna hydrate my face, but then when I go in with my foundation, I feel like I end up looking so oily. So I feel like I have to use a lot of powder and I don't like doing that because then I feel like I have so many things on my face. So this process has kind of made that a little bit easier. I don't know, the finish looks so nice to me despite, you know, my, my breakouts and everything. It just looks really blended and soft and satiny, kind of just like my skin. I don't look like I'm wearing a ton of makeup, you know? And I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I am and I'm not, you know, like I obviously didn't use a ton of product. We still look smooth and done, but not cakey. That's what I like about this. I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day. And I just want kind of want to see like how it wears. Like, am I going to get oily in this area? I tend to get kind of oily like right here in my T-zone. I want to see how this moves with my skin because especially when I go in with powder, um, I do end up with fine lines or uh, with the makeup creasing in my fine lines like eventually much later on. So I just kind of want to see like how that goes. It is 3.07. I'll check back with you periodically throughout the day. I'm wearing glasses because I couldn't handle my contacts all fucking day. Uh, so let's remove those. So just ignore the um, impressions of my glasses. Okay, so it is 10.03. What do you guys think? I feel like it looks pretty decent for it being so late. Um, I definitely did start to get kind of oily in here. There's that. I've got like a little bit of break breaking up happening around my nose, if you guys can see that. Mostly just the oil, definitely a little bit of oil, you know, happening there. But other than that, usually I have like really intense smile lines that happen like later in the day. And I don't really, I don't see that. Like I don't, I have like maybe the tiniest little bit of settling, but hardly at all. Same with like between, you know, just in fine lines, I usually have like a lot, a lot of uh, creasiness just from like moving my face and stuff. And I filmed three other videos today. So trust me, I've been moving my face around. Um, I also had a bowl of pasta. It looks pretty good. So yeah, that's it for this uh, video, you guys. I, uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this technique has been treating my skin. I feel like it looks a lot nicer. It feels more lightweight, doesn't feel, um, it just doesn't feel like heavy or sticky or anything like that. If you are oily, you might wanna try, you know, combining maybe a mattifying primer or, what does that sound? Oh, it's the cat. You might wanna try, you might wanna try like a mattifying primer or, oh, well, it's okay if they're in here, but I just like, you know, I don't even remember what I was saying now. I don't know what to do. Can you just shut the door, please? Yep. Fuck. 
All right, anyway, so what was I saying? If you tend to be a little bit more oily, you might wanna try like a mattifying primer and a matte foundation. But like I said, I really enjoyed this technique. I feel like the next time I do this, I'm gonna just use the sunscreen and then go in with powder and then the foundation rather than going in with the moisturizer because I had already moisturized when I got out of the shower. So I personally feel like the amount of products that you're minimizing on your face, this also includes the fact that I'm like putting my concealer down before my foundation. It's kind of just like minimizing everything. So you're not, you know, applying big heavy amounts of makeup and uh, it's wearing well, or it's wearing better throughout the day. And uh, yeah, so that's it. That, those are my thoughts. Let me know if you have tried this process. If you've seen other people talking about it, uh, apparently it's been around for a while and I just didn't know. So uh, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna take this shit off and wash my face. See you next time.